More than half of us are all day grazers eating for 15 hours or longer every day. We also eat the majority of our calories, more than 35% of them, at night after 6 p.m. That late night eating comes with a number of metabolic consequences and a new study shows that it actually increases hunger, reduces the calories you burn throughout the day, and leads to changes in fat tissue that make weight loss harder. If weight loss and better metabolic health are your goals, it pays to have a strategy for handling the hours before bedtime. This video shares what to eat, when to fast, and a few tips to make the whole thing easy to follow, more enjoyable, and effective. The journal Cell Metabolism published a 2022 study that set out to test the mechanisms that link late night eating to increased obesity risk. Specifically, they wanted to determine if the time that we eat matters when daily calories, physical activity, and other factors are kept constant. They took a group of 16 overweight and obese patients through two laboratory protocols. One had them follow an early meal schedule, and the other had them eat the same meals but shifted their eating times four hours later. They found that eating four hours later significantly increased their hunger level and decreased levels of leptin, which is an appetite regulating hormone that tells you when hunger has been satisfied. They also found that when the late eating pattern was followed, participants burned calories at a slower rate and exhibited changes in fat tissue that promoted fat storage. Now, as you may have guessed, part one of our bedtime strategy is not eating late at night, with the goal being to create at least a three hour fasting window before bedtime. And we'll talk more about how to pick your meal times in a moment. But before we do, I wanna take a moment to talk about our sponsor, Element Electrolytes. Electrolytes are minerals that help you stay hydrated and regulate nerve and muscle activity. When we do things that keep our insulin levels low, the kidneys flush out water and electrolytes. That lower insulin level is not a bad thing. In fact, when it is low, your body is in a state that encourages the release of fat from fat cells. The bedtime routine that I'm discussing in this video encourages low insulin levels, making the conditions right for better fat burning overnight. The fat, we're happy to use up. The electrolytes, need to be replenished to avoid symptoms like nighttime muscle cramps, headaches, and fatigue. Element is what I use to replenish electrolytes. There's not a day that goes by that I don't use it, and I will share how I use it as we move through our strategy, including an easy recipe that you'll enjoy, especially if you miss the physical act of eating late at night. If you would like to try Element, the company is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order so you can try eight of their flavors. I made the frozen drink recipe with the grapefruit flavor, which is available for a short time. To get yours, go to drinklmnt.com forward slash Dr. Becky. I'll provide the link in the description area below this video. The study we have been discussing shows why late night eating is a problem. What you want to do is create at least a three hour fasting window before bedtime. To do that, take a moment right now to think about when you typically turn off the lights and close your eyes at night. When you have that time in your head, count back three hours, and that is when you want to be done eating for the day. That is your initial goal. If you can increase that by an extra hour or more, that's great. If three hours feels challenging due to hunger, you can work up to that length of time, and you'll find that your comfort level improves as you overcome the mental and physical hurdles that naturally show up whenever you change your eating schedule. For instance, if you are used to snacking late at night, your brain has late night snacking on its schedule. So when bedtime approaches, even if you're not hungry, your brain says, okay, it's time to eat. That false hunger is driven by habit. The more you practice fasting before bed, the more comfortable you will become as your brain lets go of the expectation of late night snacking. You can speed up this transition and improve your level of physical comfort with fasting by picking the right foods at dinner time. So part two of the strategy is eating a low carb, high fat dinner with moderate protein. The lower carbohydrate intake causes less fluctuation in blood sugar, so there is a low risk of a blood sugar crash that drives cravings. 
The fat and protein in the evening meal provides a lingering hunger satisfaction so you do not feel physically hungry in the evening hours. I have many videos on how to follow a low carb diet that are available on my channel page. I also have a free list of 100 low carb foods and I will link to that in the video description area. In general, you want to stick with whole foods, getting at least 50% of your daily calories from fat and no more than 25% from carbohydrates. So this way of eating is followed for your meals throughout the day. The study had participants eat three meals with a uniform shift of hours from early to late. That means that during the beneficial early eating protocol, they were eating breakfast. So you can feel free to resume eating in the morning. If you are just not a breakfast eater, you can tighten up your eating window to fit your lifestyle. For instance, you could have just lunch and dinner or lunch, dinner, and a light afternoon snack. There are many different work, family, and social demands, so work with your body and your schedule to find what works for you, keeping the goal of stretching out the hours between your last meal and bedtime as your focus. Now, two common challenges that come with a shift to early meal times are how to prevent overeating at dinner and how to pass the hours that used to be filled with food. When you first move dinner time to an earlier hour, the concern is getting too hungry before you fall asleep. The knee-jerk reaction is to eat more at dinner. However, this can easily encourage unhealthy desserts or the intake of more calories than your body needs, sabotaging your weight loss efforts. The solution is to use a stopper, which is a term I use for an item, drink, or activity that allows you to separate from the act of eating. One way they do this is by changing the taste in your mouth. This would be true of minty things like sugar-free gum or brushing your teeth. Other items take a long time to sip, giving your brain time to get the message that you are full. Element is the stopper that I use. I also continue to sip it in the evening hours. It gives me something to look forward to that takes time to drink, benefits my body, and becomes a homemade snow cone that I eat with a spoon in the hot summer evenings. I use shaved ice, sprinkle a quarter to a half teaspoon of grapefruit element on top, and then slowly pour in a cup of seltzer and a squeeze of lemon. You can use crushed ice or different flavors of element. If you are watching this video in the summer of 2023, you may still be able to get the limited time grapefruit flavor as well as the free sample pack of eight other flavors at my link drinklmnt.com forward slash Dr. Becky. I will leave you with one additional tip for improving insulin sensitivity and ultimately fat loss that may also help you navigate the evening fast. Many of you saw my video based on a study that showed combining early time-restricted eating with a bedtime dose of apple cider vinegar to be beneficial for controlling morning blood sugar levels in patients with type 2 diabetes. That study piqued a lot of people's interest because the participants got the desired results even though they were consuming an ounce of cheese with the two tablespoon dose of apple cider vinegar. The cheese was used to make the vinegar more palatable. It would not need to be included, but it is easy to see how this could ease hunger during the evening fast. If you have been told by your doctor that you have a blood sugar regulating problem, they may have spoken to you about the benefits of controlling your fasting blood sugar level. Here is a strategy that addresses that issue. And if you're struggling with hunger before bed, the cheese can help you bridge the gap as you work toward building comfort with late night fasting. The type of cheese was not specified in the study, but I recommend a hard cheese like Swiss or cheddar. And yes, eating cheese would technically break the fast, but the study showed that the participants were still benefiting. This is an instance where it is best to look at the big picture helping you create a way of eating that is easy to follow, enjoyable, and still effective. By avoiding food at least three hours before bed, you reduce hunger and increase calorie burning throughout the day. This early eating schedule also prevents harmful changes in fat tissue. To build your comfort level, eat blood sugar stabilizing meals made up of whole foods that are low in carbohydrates with good amounts of fat and protein. 
Apple cider vinegar at bed with or without an ounce of cheese provides additional blood sugar stability and stoppers help you control the urge to overeat at dinner. As with any change in eating patterns, your comfort level will grow as your brain lets go of the expectation of late night snacking. So stick with it and work with your body to create the change. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.